In this tutorial, we are going to understand the buttons in Ionic Framework. In this video lesson, I will be using StackBlitz with my own starter project. I have the autocomplete feature for Ionic Snippet that you can make use of it. To start, what you need is to have the link, only the link, which is there in my video description. Before that, make sure you subscribe to my channel and let's start coding so here I have the ion button for this example and the default look will be like this the first thing that we are going to use is the color and by using this property we can change the color of the button as per the one in the themes variable so we have primary secondary and so on let us choose danger which is red color so I will paste it here in the property and I will save. Here we will notice color of the image got changed like this. The second thing that we are going to look into is the size. And for the size we have three different sizes for the buttons. We have the small and the default one and the large. Let me see for the small now the button with the small size. Let me make it large, save it and it will be like this so if you remove the property it will be with the default size then we have the expand which will allow us to use the button with the full width so we have the block and full and the block will use the button as a full width with rounded corners so here at the end we can see the rounded corners with the full width the other one we have the full and if I save it, we can see the button with the full width, but with square corners. And there is no border in left and right. Another thing we are going to look into fill. And in fill, we have three different property here. The first one is clear. This one will allow us to use a transparent background without border. So like this, the another one we can use outline. So it will be transparent background with visible border. So like this, the border will be visible. And we have solid, which is the default one. Now we are going to look into shape. And here we have only one property, which is round. This will allow us to use the rounded corners like this. And in iron button, we can combine properties together like here we have the round we can make the button having the outline so we will add fill outline we'll save we have combined round and outline and we can use also the expand and any other property to combine it together so i will use the block and i will save it will be like this block outline fill and rounded shape now let us see how we can use icons inside a button for using icons in a button, we can use it in the left, in the right, and icon only. So let us try to use the left icon. We have to add the ion icon property here. So ion icon. We have to specify the slot as a start and the name of the icon. I will choose whatever name. So it will be like this with the left alignment icon. If I want it in the right, I will change the slot to end and I will move the icon down. I will save it and it will be in the right. If I want the icon only, here in the slot I will write icon only and I will remove the text. It will be like this we can use any other properties like the fill outline and it will be like this now we are going to look into customizing the button using css so here i am in homepage.css i am targeting the iron button so we can use the border radius to change the border radius in the button like maybe i will write 14 pixel but this one is a custom property so i will use the double slash 
I will save it then I will notice that the border got changed another thing that we can use is the box shadow I can remove it so I will select none so if I save the box shadow will disappear the last thing in customizing the button that we can change the background color to gradient 1 so I will write background and I will paste gradient color so like this and I will save it will be with this shape I can remove the box shadow and it will be with this looking another type of button that we can use is the buttons inside the toolbar here for the navigation maybe so we can add it here in the iron toolbar no matter where maybe in the top in the button wherever it will be placed as per your code so we will write iron buttons we will choose the slot start it will make it here and end it will make it here so i will choose and then for the button here i don't want this property and maybe i want menu so it will be like this we can remove the slot from the icon and it is like this if we make it start it will be here this is the end of the video if you like it please press the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you very much